Charles. Kane. Pull your muffler around your neck, Charles. Kane, I think we shall have to tell him now. Yes. I'll sign those papers now, Mr. Thatcher. You people seem to forget that I'm the boy's father. It's going to be done exactly the way I've told Mr. Thatcher. There ain't nothing wrong with Colorado. I don't see why we can't raise our own son just because we come into some money. If I want, I can go to court. A father has a right to. A boarder that beats his bill and leaves worthless stock behind. That property is just as much my property as anybody's, now that it's valuable. And if Fred Graves had any idea all this was going to happen, he'd have made out those certificates in both our names. However, they were made out in Mrs. Kane's name. He owed the money for the board to the both of us. The bank's decision on all matters I don't hold with signing my boy away to any bank as guardian. I want you to just stop because... all this nonsense. The bank's him. decision on all matters concerning his education, his places of residence, and similar subjects is to be the final. The idea of a bank being the guardian. I want you to stop all this nonsense, Chief. We will assume full management of the Colorado loan, of which I repeat, Mrs. Kane, you are the sole owner. Where do I sign, Mr. Thatcher? Right here, Mrs. Kane. Mary, I'm asking you for the last time. Anybody think I hadn't been a good the husband? The sum of fifty thousand dollars a year is to be paid to you and Mr. Kane as long as you both live, and thereafter to the survivor. Well, let's hope it's all for the best. It is. I can't raise my own boy. more than I can understand. Go on, Mr. Thatcher. Everything else, the principal as well as all money's earned, is to be administered by the bank in trust for your son, Charles Foster Kane, until he reaches his 25th birthday, at which time he is to come into complete possession. Charles! Go on, Mr. Thatcher. Well, uh, it's almost five, Mrs. Kane. Don't you think I'd better meet the boy? I've got his trunk all packed. I've had it packed for a week now. I've arranged for a tutor to meet us in Chicago. I'd have brought him here with me, but... Charles! Lucky, Mom! Better come inside, son. Well, well, oh, well, that's quite a snowman. Did Take you make it all by yourself, my lad? Maybe I'll make some tea from whiskers. This is Mr. Thatcher, Charles. Hello. How do you do, Charles? Uh, he comes from the East. Wow. Hello, Charlie. Charles! I... Yes, Mommy. Mr. Thatcher's going to take you on a trip with him tonight. You'll be leaving on number 10. That's the train with all the lights on it. You going, Mom? Well, no, your mother won't be going right away, Charles, but she'll be... Where am I going? You're going to see Chicago and New York and Washington, maybe. Ain't he, Mr. Thatcher? He certainly is. I wish I were a little boy going on a trip like that for the first time. Why aren't you coming with us, Mom? We have to stay here, Charles. You're going to live with Mr. Thatcher from now on, Charlie. You're going to be rich. Your ma figures, well, uh, that is, uh, me and her decided this ain't the place for you to grow up in. You'll probably be the richest man in America someday, and you, you ought to get an lonely, education. Charles. Only, of course not. Why, we're going to have some fine times together. Really, we are, Charles. Now, shall we shake hands? Oh, come, come, come. I'm not as frightening as all that, am I? Now, what do you say? Let's shake. Why, Charles. Oh, Charles, you Charles. almost hurt me. Why, Charles, Charles. Charles. Charlie. What's that to display with? What happened? <laughs> Jim! I'm sorry, Mr. Thatcher. What that kid needs is a good thrasher. That's what you think, is it, Jim? Yes. That's why he's going to be brought up where you can't get at him. Charles. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>